Hello and welcome to the Video Games and Human Values Initiative. I'm Roger Travis, Director of the Initiative and Associate Professor of Classics at the University of Connecticut. And I want to welcome you also to this video update, which includes a proof of concept of something I want to do in my video lectures for my three-week Living Epic course in January and for the three-credit undergraduate course in the spring called Gaming Homer, which is just to be able to put me and the display on the screen at the same time, and it seems to be working. In any case, I want to talk about three uh, items of news for the initiative. Um, one is that three-week course in January, which is registering now, and I'm hoping that if you're watching this, you might consider sharing the news about it with uh, people who might not be coming to the initiative uh, on their own, but who might be interested in the course, uh, especially teachers, um, because there are continuing education credits available for it um, to help teachers retain certification, and also for parents who might, uh, for example, be paying 15 bucks a month for World of Warcraft but not really know what they're paying for um, and might want to be reassured that what their kids are doing is actually uh, rather ancient and perhaps rather valuable. In any case, I wanted just to talk a little bit about the activities for that course because I think they're so exciting. The first one I want to mention is the in-game labs. Now, there are going to be two required games for this course, Club Penguin and RuneScape. And the nice thing about these games is that if you have a PC that will allow you to take this course, you'll be able to run these games. Um, and these are both massively multiplayer online games that serve as a great laboratory for the concepts we're going to be talking about. Um, and then there are going to be optional games, a whole list of them, uh, that people in the course will be able to play at will to do the labs. In any case, the idea is to do a gaming session either on your own or with other people in the course, and then to write up a lab report of that session as what I call in the course a bardic occasion. That is, the kind of occasion when a bard, an ancient singer of tales, would have sung a part of what we know of as the Iliad and the Odyssey. And that, in turn, of course, will help us learn a lot about what was going on with those bards and with the storytelling in those great Homeric epics. And in turn, that will reflect on our understanding of what we're doing when we're gaming. And then the other activity I wanted to talk about was the interviews we're going to be doing with people who are actually in the industry, as they say, asking them questions as if they were ancient bards, um, designing those interviews, contributing questions, and then after I get to do the interview, which I'm really excited about, analyzing those interviews and determining to what extent we can make the kinds of comparisons that the course is all about. Um, and those activities together, I think, will make this online course, which is completely online and completely asynchronous, meaning there's no requirement for you to be on the same schedule as anyone else if you're taking the course. I think it'll make this course really uh, an amazing experience. So that's item number one. Item number two is that um, I'm starting to try to get people at the VGHVI together to do some actual gaming. Um, and my schedule uh, dictates that Thursday nights are going to be my time. Check out the wiki, which is to my right, uh, and there's a blog post um, on this site now that has a direct link to the page where we're planning that. Um, sign up for the wiki. Uh, add the games that you're interested in playing multiplayer, and if Thursday nights don't work for you, um, propose another session time and let's get some uh, gaming going. And then the third thing is to mention another thing on the wiki, which is uh, my proposal for the Proto Symposium, focusing on the work of Corvus Elrod, uh, storyteller and game blogger, um, called Defining Play. And uh, there are various things to contribute to there to help plan it. This symposium will probably take place maybe in late April, I think is the time I'm shooting for. Um, and there are various proposals for who we should invite, uh, including some of the people at the center already, sorry, the initiative already, um, and then also uh, various people from outside who would have uh, a kind of intervening contribution to make to really get the discussion going. And this symposium is going to feature some real-time events, um, but everything from those real-time events will be available asynchronously, so the discussion can proceed um, on a bunch of different fronts. And then afterwards, we'll assemble it all, um, first of all on the wiki, but then we'll do uh, some sort of online publication. Uh, and 
I'd love your contributions and your ideas as to what sort of publication you think should come out of something like this. In any case, uh, those are three things that are going on around here that I think are exciting. And I welcome you again to the initiative, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.